Welcome back to Heroes and Whiskey. We are printing our way through the D&D Monster Manual, and we have just started our summer of demons and devils. And we're starting with one that may be legitimately cursed, and that's Baphomet. So this model is not actually Baphomet. It's called a Disciple of War and is from Lord of the Prince. And in a minute, we're going to talk about how we, we got here. It, there's this description of Baphomet in the Monster Manual where it says he's just as likely to throw off his armor and weapons and attack you by brute force. And so I was really looking for a model that displayed that ferocity and brutality, and I think I found it here. This guy looks fantastic, which is not a surprise from Lord of the Prince. Everything about him, from his oversized muscles and horns and hooves to the sharp little details on his armor, everything just screams trouble. Welcome back. We're trying a few new things on the channel as we're working our way through these demons. But let's first talk about how we got to this Baphomet. So originally I had this one from Mini Monster Mayhem, which I actually I purchased it, I downloaded it, I uh, printed it, and got as far as painting it. But I kept having the sense that I really wanted something that was a little more dramatic and a little more violent. And then I also saw this one from Epic Miniatures, which isn't Baphomet, but he had this really cool pose that I liked. So I bought him brought him into my slicer, but when I sized him up, I discovered that his feet were way too far apart for a base. And so then I found this one called the Horned Warlord, which I also really liked the design, but when I bought it and downloaded it, uh, I couldn't unzip it. And it actually made me open terminal to unzip it. Um, so then I did that, I brought it into my slicer, I sized it, and supported it and it would not slice. The slicer just hung up and it wouldn't slice it. I really like this one uh, from Bite the Bullet uh, and I was sold really largely on the, um, the quality of these painted images which you can see re look really, really cool. And so I purchased it, I downloaded it. But then when I brought it into my slicer, I discovered that the model itself just didn't really have quite the level of detail that I like. So I was at my wit's end. I went out to the creators that I know and trust, and I just searched for the word horned. That's all I searched for. And I found this one on uh, Lord of the Print. Um, again, it's called the Disciple of War. It has both a winged and unwinged version. And so I just really like this one with no wings. So I purchased this one, downloaded it, sliced it up, uh, and printed them out, and here we are. So without question, this is one of my favorite models to date. You can see in this 3D rendering uh, of the file that there's a ton of detail, including muscle striations. He's even got little veins on his arms. Uh, I, I, it is a bit curious. This 3D file has him right-handed, but the actual print piece have him left-handed. And the original file was also huge, and so I did have to print him at about 80% to get him the right size. But everything held up, uh, including the sword, which is now just about as thin as a piece of uh, cardstock paper. I also printed his base uh, on an FDM printer, so I did lose a little bit of detail, but overall I still think he looks fantastic. Next to our six foot model, you can see he's about 15 to 18 feet. I don't know if you can see, but he has some skulls and bones on his base that shows he's just about the right size. So in terms of resources, I have uh, stopped adding up the resin total because I just never felt like the estimates that I was getting from my slicer were all that accurate because they didn't account for uh, fails. They didn't account for the resin that you rinse off of the printed models. And so that was never just uh, an accurate total. In terms of finances, he cost us $15. It took just under six hours to print. And so for all of the monsters that we have printed so far, we are up to $245 and right at about four and a half days. So overall, this is a really great start to printing demons. Next up, we have an all-time classic made popular by one of the best shows on television. The Demogorgon! Oh, 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 we're a deep shit. 